Hi, welcome in. Prayer. Pain, sickness, and tragedy in this life can shut down our desire to talk to God. Possibly we blame him for what's happened or we call out to him and don't feel he's answered us. Or maybe we don't consider that God is personal and really wants us to talk with him and share what's in our hearts. Prayer simply means to communicate with God. Since God is everywhere and has promised to never leave us or forsake us, we can talk to God anytime and anywhere about anything, just as we would talk to a best friend. Long prayers aren't necessary in order for God to hear or answer what we request of him. Sometimes the simple prayer of help is the only thing that can be uttered in the time of crisis. God understands the unspoken words behind that simple cry for help. He knows the longings and intentions of your heart. Whether you are seeking wisdom, requesting a miracle, asking him for something specific, or just sharing what's on your mind, talk to God regularly. That's prayer. The Bible tells us that God hears us when we call to him and he will answer. Promises. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. Psalm 5 verse 3. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. James 5 verse 16. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Philippians 4 verse 6. In the same way, the Spirit also helps our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Romans 8 verse 26. You, God, are my God. Earnestly, I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Psalm 63, verse 1. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. 1 John 5 verses 14 to 15. Prayer. God, I can talk to you at any time. You know my heart and hear every word from my mouth, whether spoken silently or proclaimed loudly. Teach me what it means to ask, seek, and knock, to not give up on prayer until I receive what I desire from you. I direct my voice to you in the morning and I talk to you as I go to bed each night. I want our relationship to grow and deepen. Touch me, heal me, make me whole, lead me to pray your desires so that your kingdom comes and your will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.